Hello everybody, my name is Mind, and welcome back to the Air Team YouTube channel. And today, we've got a brand new series for you. And this is going to be basically a Build with the Air Team series, where you can join me or any of the other Air Team members and watch us build, well, for the Air Team and see what the experience is like and how we do it. Anyway, what you see here is a one-to-one -one starship. And I did this as sort of a test run to see how this would go. And I've made a couple improvements since then and uh, we'll be working on a new build today instead, down here. If you want to check out all the builds that will be part of this series, you can come on our server, the Aeroteam server, uh, play.aeroteam, uh, or I forgot what it is at this point, and you can join us, and if you want to check it out, you can do slash phmindstorm092, and you'll warp right here, and in front of you, all of the builds for this series will be right here in these little boxes. Now you can suggest builds for me or any of the other guys to do, and uh, it'll be pretty, pretty fun. Today we are doing the U2 spy plane at request of Soviet gaming. Anyway, let's get started really quickly. One of the first things we always want to do is get out our dimensions. Now with this one, the U2 is a bit different because they're not exactly plentiful and you can't find them very easily. But we do have basic dimensions, and I can sort of work with those to improve uh, how we're going to be building. Anyway, so what I do know is that it is five blocks tall. Three, four, and five, like so. And I also know that it is 31 blocks wide. It is a super wide plane, but it's also super short at only 19.2 meters long. So, we're going to have to keep all of those in mind. I've already got that mapped out, aside from the height that I just did. And then, uh, we can get started. It's looking to me like uh, it's only going to be about a meter off the ground. We're going to be using our diorite texture today because the U-2 is a very dark grey uh, airplane. Now, the U-2 does have some massive gear tilts in it. So it's going to end up going from the front. We're going to have, I'm going to use an outline here. And we're going to go from the front, which is going to be about two meters up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then because in the middle, we're going to go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then it'll be, there'll be some uh, tail uh, design and everything such. And you wouldn't believe that from this, we're going to get an entire U-2 airplane out of it. We know from uh, diagrams and such that the air intakes are about uh, five and a bit blocks back. So I'm going to go five blocks back. So I'll go one, two, three, four, and five there. And what we can do is we can use some stairs to round it out. Just like so. Now I want to check if actually the U-2 is a bit taller than... Uh, one block, then uh, one and a half blocks. So it is actually, it's about two blocks tall. So what we can end up doing is something a lot nicer along these lines. And we'll fill this in really quickly because I want to do the nose shaping a little later. That way we've got a bit more of an idea of how the thing is going to end up looking. We can get rid of that. Now from there, the U2 sort of just does this weird, like, it, it goes, as it goes back in the fuselage, it uh, curves in, and uh, th there's a coral block, ah, oh, I'm gonna look at the coral block for like ages here. So we'll sort of just line this here, got that, and we'll mimic that on both sides, I think. And that's sort of the fuselage shape of the U2. Now the wings on the U2 are actually going to be super interesting and possibly hard to do. They're about 8 blocks back, so we're going to just got this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So they're going to start around like right here. Yeah, so I think it will be more practical if we like bring up the uh, U2 instead. Now what we're going to end up have, or I'm going to have to end up doing, is thinning it out some way, shape or form. But first we can build out the wings, and the wings on the U2 are super, super flat. Eight. It's going to be about nine blocks back, so let's see, two, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9 and a bit. So really, I think if we do something sort of in the middle, it'll look a bit better. Even though technically the wingtip is uh, is one block wide, the shape of the wing is just, it just doesn't fit it enough. Yeah, so see, that's, that's a lot closer to the shape of the U2 spy plane's wing, like so. And the U2 also has um, some, I believe these are fuel tanks on the side. And these are sort of mounted under the wing. Let's, I want to look at some pictures. Yep, there you go. And then we can also do add these on the back. And the wing actually does have some sort of airfoil shape. So we'll include that a bit. And then these come out just, just one block, I think. Although we can use coral, perhaps, to get a bit of a better look. And then we can use a stair on the front. And what we can do actually is uh, a lot of these uh, graphs are showing the U2 on a slope. So uh, for better reference. Now the fuselage sort of just like immediately thins. Really, so like... I think this is our, our only option here. And we'll do that on either side, I think. Now it does have a jet exhaust at the rear, so we're gonna need to uh, add that in. Now, this isn't the greatest for layering, but because of the way the textures are, it sort of hides the fact that the layering isn't too great, so I think we can get away with it. Okay, and so for the U2, it's actually sort of really weird the uh, way the uh, horizontal stabil stabilizers are. They're in a really weird position. Okay, and they're about four blocks. Something sort of like that I think is the only, only option I could go with. And then above them, there's actually this arrow device that comes out. This sticks out the end, and then you have the uh, vertical stabilizer, which is super, super aggressive in its shape. It's like, goes straight up. So that's looking pretty decent. Everyone's flying around me. What have I done? Did I build this off center? <laughs> oh no, I built this off center. That's why. And then we'll fix this, I think. Yeah, there we go. Zap is. Zap is touching the wing. I hope he knows what he's building. <laughs> Maybe coral through here? No, oh, no, you can't do that. That's you need to stare. And now we just need to do the nose. And the nose is gonna be really like weird here. And you know what? I think I think that as the nose is gonna be perfectly fine. And we can keep that. We're close to finishing this here. I think we just need to do the landing gear and some details now. And I'm going to look at some reference pictures for that as I do them. So we do actually have the option of a couple things with the U2. The U2 has these like massive like um, radar things that sit on top. Uh, I wonder if I should do those or not. We need a lever and that's going to go like right there. And then there's also a button for the light. Oh, and then we can add some detail around the back. So you're going to have like the landing gear that pops out here. Although there is this like thing that just sticks out the bottom like that. I, th I believe that is the where the gear is housed. And Zap is meddling with the plane again. What is, what is he doing with my plane? Anyway, we can come like around the front. I feel like, is it two meters? It might not be. I, I think it's like further back. It's just still a weird nose. Hard to do hard to do and then we need to do the gears as well as like our final thing I'm just gonna grab black wall buttons like so what is he doing what is this what is what is he doing to my plane to the plane but we need to do the rear gear as well. All right, I like this one, I found it. And then we can pop in right here. So it's, it's sort of like right here-ish. 
and then we can get an armor stand. Armor stand will go right there. There we go. I think that works. Anyway, if you stop messing with it, that's about it. I hope you guys... I swear. Anyway, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to suggest something for another episode of this, please do so in the comments down below. If you've got any ideas of how I could improve this and how we could improve this as a team, please, please do feel free to tell us. Anyway, my name is Mind. Take care. Bye-bye.